Good morning, Apollo Baptist Church. It is Monday morning, September 14th. And our reading plan in, our, in the Bible uh, is for us to be reading in 2 Samuel. We have finished 1 Samuel. 2 Samuel chapters 1 through 4. Um, and uh, I want to focus this morning on chapter one, part of chapter one, the latter part of chapter one. It's about grief. Grief is uh, very difficult. Grief is not a surface hurt. It, it is a hurt uh, that goes all the way to our deepest part, our heart. And so grief says a lot about us. And in this passage, David grieves because he has learned about the death of King Saul and his dear friend Jonathan. They have died in battle with the Philistines. So have many others. But David specifically focuses on King Saul and his very, very dear friend Jonathan. And he writes a song. Uh, he writes a lament uh, describing his grief and his ache and his hurt. Three times in this lament, he says, oh, how the mighty have fallen. He starts it off in verse 19. Your beauty, O Israel, is slain on your high places. How have the mighty fallen? The beauty of Israel is the honor of Israel. Israel is the people of God. And King Saul is the leader of those people. And it's interesting, in this Song of Lament, David does not focus on the difficulties that King Saul had in his life. He does not focus on the weaknesses and the sinful rebellion that King Saul uh, had in his life. Rather, he focuses on Israel as being the people of God and King Saul as being the warrior leader of those people. And while he had his issues, the representation that he had was he was the leader of God's people. He was the leader of David and David's leader has been slain. David's dear friend has been slain. And there's more to that than a personal loss. There is a corporate loss. There is a, there is a deep-seated loss. And, and, and David represents that. You see, our grief sometimes interprets our heart. What we grieve is what we love the most. And so he says, don't, don't tell don't tell uh, Gath, that is one of the cities of the Philistines. Don't tell the people in Ascalon, that is another one of the major cities of the Philistines. Don't let them gloat over this. Oh no, no, this hurts and we grieve over it. Um, it's interesting how um, you don't air your dirty laundry so that people can make light of your hurt, you, you protect it. Um, the love of God is like a blanket that covers our sin. And we don't uncover other people that we love, we cover them up with the grace and the, and the goodness of God. And we see that in David's heart. He doesn't uncover Saul, he doesn't strip him bare in front of uh, people and laugh at him. Rather, he says, oh, how the mighty have fallen. When it comes to talking about Jonathan in this passage, he says, oh, I am distressed for you, my brother, in verse 26. You have been very pleasant to me. Your love to me is more wonderful than the love of women. 
Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Some have uh, very uh, incorrectly stated that David and Jonathan had a homosexual relationship. There's no place in the Bible that even indicates anything of that nature. And it's very sad. But we and our fleshly nature elevate sexual love to being the ultimate love, when in fact, God's covenant love is by far the greatest love. God gave us everything we needed in order that we might become the children of God. There is a greater love there than any other kind of love. And Jonathan represents that kind of covenant love that was given to David. And uh, it is that kind of sacrifice and Jonathan was the prince. He was the king's kid. He was the next in line to take the throne. And he gave David everything he needed to be the next king. He gave up what could he could have kept, but he gave it up. He created a covenant relationship with David that was a friendship that was likened unto our friendship with God. His friend, Jonathan, had been slain, and oh, his heart aches. What is it that causes your heart to ache? I can tell you I need to grow in this area. Most of my aches are very selfish, but God's people ache over God and his name and his people being hurt. When Jonathan and David fell, it meant the glory of Israel, the beauty of Israel had fallen. Oh, that needs to break our heart. When God's people are less than they could be, when God's church is less than it ought to be, we need to do everything we can in order for God's kingdom, God's people, God's representation on this earth to be everything it can and it ought to grieve us when it is not. What is it that grieves you? It's a good question. Let's grow together in being grieved by the things that God created.